Hello. Uh, how did the telephone propose? With a ring. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Straight to it. Um, <clears throat> all right, today we are talking about area of simple shapes. I'm hoping this will be a review for most of you. Um, for those in my class, only write down the ones that you don't know, um, but you'll be tested on it. So make sure you know. A square is just side times side. A rectangle is, I like to say, base times height. Okay, <clears throat> triangle. All right. We've got base, and then we've got height. The area of a triangle is half times base times height, or let's just go half base height. Okay, remember triangle has a half, and make sure we are looking for the perpendicular height. Okay, I'll make a little note up here. It must be the perpendicular height. Okay, that means you can see that little, <clears throat> little right angle. Um, it's the perpendicular height. Okay, we've got a couple more shapes. We've got the parallelogram uh, and the trapezium for a parallelogram. The area here is base times height. Uh, for a trapezium, you're going to have a height. You're also going to have A and B, which are your two parallel lines. Okay, the way the reason I've drawn two trapeziums is they're both trapeziums because they only have one pair of parallel lines. Uh, it is an important formula. Uh, the way that this one works is A is H over two, A plus B. Okay, um, that's your trapezium formula. Okay, if we get to a rhombus and a kite, I put these ones together um, because if we're, especially if we're given what we call the diagonals, we call the diagonals usually X and Y. Uh, and so the area of a kite or a rhombus is half times X times Y, okay? Or half times your diagonals. Uh, and that there, oh, and we're almost there. Um, here are your fancy ones. Uh, if I'm talking about a circle, uh, the area of a circle is pi radius squared. Uh, that's if you're talking about a full circle. If we're talking about a sector or part of a circle, I should probably written that this was R as well. If I'm talking about a part of a circle and not the whole thing, my area, and this is given on your reference sheet, it's some sort of theater out of 360 because there's 360 degrees in the whole sector or in the whole circle, sorry. And so a sector is just going to be a portion or a percentage or a fraction of your giant circle. So it's just going to be uh, pi on 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so it's the area, but just a portion of it. And I'm pretty sure I've got one question here where it says find the area of uh, this circle here, or this sector, I should say. So again, the formula, I'm using this one, theta on 360 pi r squared. Uh, what's my angle that's given for this particular part of the circle? I have 110 degrees out of my total 360. Um, I've got my pi. I've got my radius, which in this case is two. And I square that. And at this point, put it into your calculator. 110 from 360 times pi, which is like shift at the bottom, shift and then times 10x uh, times two squared. Put that in your calculator and you should get to two decimal places. I've got three point, I'll write the whole thing out, seven, two, blah, blah, blah. So to two decimal places, that'll be 3.84. And this would be meters squared because we're talking about area. Okay, that was a horrible M, but hopefully that helps. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.